Uh, hi, everybody. Um, those of you who, who have been with us at previous NERI meets uh, will be aware that we are also involved in a special interest group, uh, or a SIG. And uh, we call our SIG VPAR, which stands for Values-Based Practitioner Action Research. We run the SIG in tandem with our NERI meets because the, the, the aims of both groups are quite similar. Uh, we strive to promote a values-based approach to doing practitioner research. The SIG operates under the auspices of the Educational Studies Association of Ireland, or ESAI, and two years ago, they decided to fund a number of SIGs, and our NERI group uh, applied for a SIG, and we were successful in that initiative. And we're very grateful for the support we have got from ESAI, because thanks to them, we have been able to invite researchers of international repute to give keynote presentations at our NERI meets. So, so far, we've been able to have uh, Mary McAteer, Mary Bryden Miller, Stephen Brookfield, uh, Hilary Bradbury, and today, as you know, we had Stephen Chemis. And the topics that they spoke on in their keynote presentations relate to some of the salient features of the living theory action research or self-study action research. And through those presentations, we were able to explore areas such as uh, the, the values base of action research, the ethical implications of doing action research, critical reflection, um, action research for transformation, and then Stephen's talk today on transforming practices. The, the SIG uh, funding also enabled us to extend and strengthen our connections with other like-minded organizations. For example, EJOLTS, CARN, and of course, ESAI. So we're now coming to the end of our term for our, our SIG. And uh, last year, uh, we produced an interim report, which was given at the ESAI conference last year. And now, as I say, we're coming to the end of the two years, so we need to do another presentation uh, on what we have done over the course of the past two years. And this will take place at the ESAI conference on the 7th to the 9th of April. And I think that's taking place in the Marino Institute of Education here in Dublin. So hopefully we will see uh, some of you there. We're also hoping that ESAI will decide to continue funding SIGs in the this way, and that we may be able to apply for uh, another um, extension of our SIG, because we would really love to be able to continue to provide a space for reflection and dialogue, and be able to forge um, further connections with practitioner researchers worldwide. So uh, that's the update now on our SIG group, and back to you, Maureen. That's great, Bernie. Thank you for keeping us up to date with regard to our SIG. Um, I'm not 100% sure if the ESAI conference is actually going to be in Reno or whether it's going to be online. I think it's under debate at the moment. Okay. 